So there's this problem, it's called back pain. You've probably heard of it. A large part of back pain is contributed by degenerative disc disease. There are treatments being developed at the moment to reverse this process uh, within the tissue engineering field. These regenerative treatments that are being developed usually take place via stem cell treatments. Another way that these treatments are supplemented is through the use of a scaffold, which is pretty much a lattice, that, a very small lattice that is made of some kind of biomaterial, which is also put into the spine alongside the stem cells. And that is supposed to act as a support structure for the disc. But these processes in general are very invasive to the point where since the disc is already highly compromised structurally, these regenerative treatments actually initially add a lot more structural compromises to the disc, meaning that it can be very sensitive to loadings and that can actually cause problems for the regeneration process taking place. So what I set out to do is to assist with these regenerative treatments to help in increase the likelihood of their success. So what I proposed to design was a dynamic splint, which was to act similarly to how a cast would act on a broken limb. This splint was supposed to assist with these regenerative treatments during their early stages by reducing stresses inside the disc and loadings on the disc so that the chance for successful regeneration was maximized. So to actually generate a solution, the main thing I had to do was obtain my own experimental data, but also obtain experimental data from literature. Um, because what I attempted to create was a simulation of the splint on the spine. So what I first needed to do was to brainstorm some potential designs for the splint. And then from there, I had to create a simulation of a spine in ANSYS without the splint on it. From there, I was able to create my splint designs and then finally able to 3D print those designs and perform mechanical testing on those designs to understand their mechanical behavior. So the outcome of the project was I was able to design a splint and that splint was able to reduce the loadings on the disc. And that was a really exciting outcome for me. This made me feel very passionate about taking this project further and now I would like to do a PhD to further develop this device and potentially bring it closer to a clinical trial.